Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat, and a lot of people always ask, how do we pick a good heat pump? How do we know that heat pump A is good or better than heat pump B? Great question, because there's a lot of variables. So these days, heat pumps are becoming all the rage, and rightly so, they are fantastic, really efficient, and they do a great job if designed and installed correctly. But the problem is there's a lot on the market that are really flashy looking, they have cutting edge names, and they seem pretty good. But there's lots of little things that you have to watch out for and look into. Because to be honest, we get offers all the time from China to put our name, slap our name on some heat pumps, and then I actually see them being sold all around Australia all the time, and I know that they're just crappy heat pumps that are, uh, aren't that good and aren't gonna last long. So let me tell you what to look out for so that you avoid problems in the future. So the first thing that you can look at is the COP. Now, you'll find that there's another video where I go into COP in more detail, but basically this is the stated efficiency of the heat pump. So you wanna make sure that heat pump A has the same COP definition as, C as heat pump B. And what I mean by that is, let's say we're talking about an air to water heat pump or an air source heat pump. We wanna make sure that when we're comparing the COP of both of them, that they both have the same parameters. So the air temperature is the same and the output water temperature is the same. So for example, A7 slash W35 means air temperature seven and water temperature 35. You might find that some heat pump manufacturers state their uh, COPs at different levels. So they might say, okay, air temperature 15, water temperature 35, and obviously they're gonna have a higher COP. But this is not a direct like, and good comparison because the, the COPs are gonna change according to the operating conditions. So make sure you're comparing apples to apples there. The second thing you can look at is noise. So generally, the more info there, there is on noise, the more you can trust it. A lot of heat pump manufacturers will just say, okay, noise 65 dBA, and that's it. But sound is a really tricky thing, and so there should be more data on that, whether it's a sound power level, sound pressure level, at what distance this is being measured, whether it's being measured according to some international standard or local standard even. But this is at least a, a decent indication of how noisy the heat pump should be. So above 65 in a residential application, it's a bit of a no-go. You wanna keep definitely below 65 in residential. In commercial, above 65 is acceptable depending on what type of commercial building it is. The third thing that you can look for is whether the heat pump is a old school start stop. So that means that the compressor just is either on running at 100% or off running at 0% or it's a inverter model where it actually can modulate its output between generally 25% uh, and 120%. And so the difference between the two is that the first one, the on off start stop is either on or it's off. That's it. Uh, there's no in between. It's either going or it's not. And that's fine, that, that's the old school way of doing it. And we still do some systems like this because there is no need for, in some circumstances for an inverter or a modulating heat pump. Uh, but it's, you just have to make sure that the system is designed correctly to handle this start stop. But generally these days, most often inverter heat pumps are used. And why these are used are because, first of all, you can change the, uh, the amount of power that it's uh, drawing the amount of electricity it's drawing and therefore you can change the amount of heat or chill that it's outputting into the system. Because you don't always need 100% of the output from the heat pump. Generally, a lot of heat pumps are sized to take care of the few coldest weeks of the year or the, f the few hottest days of the year. And so the rest of the time, the heat pumps are running at 50, 60% capacity. And so what this uh, allows this inverter is it allows the heat pump to either work at say 100 or even 120% or down at that 50, 60%. Generally, this is most suitable for residential applications. And now the third thing, and one of the easiest things to do to determine whether it's a good heat pump is to find out what brand of compressor is within the heat pump. And now this might sound like I'm playing favorites or that I have a bias or things like this. But look, I can tell you from experience 
that there is one brand that is above the best and that's because they're actually owned by the inventor of modern refrigeration. So when you look at your heat pump data sheet or you talk to the supplier or manufacturer, you might see the type of compressor in the, the heat pump, which is the heart of the heat pump. And it might look like a familiar name, a name that you might have seen, say, on a TV in your house or one of your friend's houses or on a fridge or something like that. And sure, they do their job, but from experience, they don't always last super long. They're not, to be honest, the best long lasting compressors that you can get out there. So the best compressor that you can get, which it's not definitely not the cheapest, but it is the best, it's proven, it's the longest running uh, compressor brand that there is, is Copeland. And Copeland have the best technical data, they have the best support, they have made the most compressors out of everyone, they've been around for the longest. They are just by, you know, by a long shot the best brand of compressor you can get out there. And you, you actually, if you do your research, you'll find out that the best brands all use Copeland compressors. So to recap, make sure you don't choose your heat pump based on flashy names or, or good looks. Make sure you compare the COP, uh, make sure that the comparison is apples to apples. Make sure that it's not too noisy. Uh, make sure that it's suitable for your application, either start, stop or inverter. And lastly, make sure there's the, a good brand of compressor in the heat pump because that is the heart of the heat pump. So if you would like help with choosing or designing and installing the right heat pump for your heating or cooling or industrial application, give us a call at Euroheat. We've been dealing with heat pumps for decades and we'd love to share some of our knowledge with you.